Welcome back to Chess 2, I mean Ouroboros King. If you haven't seen this game before, the goal is to capture every one of the enemy pieces except for the king, and then you automatically win. It's a tactical roguelike where it's basically chess. You see there's a knight, there's a king, there's a rook. There's also a ton of new pieces, and this game just got updated with 20 or more of them. Like, this one's interesting. It kills like a queen, but moves like a king. Let's try it. After every fight, I get to choose my direction on the map and choose my reward, and after this fight, I'll get another new unit. So I'm just basically checking out what all the new stuff is about, hope it's fun. I got a Reaper. It moves like a king and can kill any enemy on the tile of the same color that is not a king or a witch. Kind of wordy, but I'll show you what it means. If it moves here, it's on a dark square, like the bishop, and then it can kill the bishop because it's on a dark square and could never escape. So now that black has no units, it's over. I get gold after every battle, which could be used for like more expensive stuff. I'm gonna take an assassin here for a different reason than you may expect. The thing it upgrades into, the Blade Dancer, is oh so powerful, but I believe it got nerfed. I'm gonna keep it on the back rank right now. I want my front rank to be full of units I can just send it. We'll talk about the nerf later. For now, how about I get the Royal Guard in position to hit that Berserker or the Pegasus Rider? Although you can't move anywhere where you get me in check, how about I get my Reaper down? Threaten both of his enemies on black squares. So actually, if I take this Pegasus Rider, the King can't take it because the Royal Guard kind of protects it. Berserker can, but then all the units are gone. So that's another win. Another unit I can recruit. Crusader got buffed after killing an enemy, get 30 gold. It has like a Y-shaped attack. That seems interesting. I'll try it. Why not? And I think I'll keep getting more units because it seems like uh, strength in numbers is good now. Now it's time to go take a good advantage of my Agent Plus. It moves like a Rook now, but after it moves, it can then move like a Bishop. And do you see the double attack? Both my Agent X and my Reaper are hitting his Bishop. That means I can go in and threatening his King. Oh, I did that backwards. All right, wrong order, wrong order. This is supposed to be the one that takes. The Reaper's in. The Reaper cannot kill the King at all though. How about I just have the Reaper become, become a two for one? Take you two units, it's pretty good. Now I can put the Royal Guard maybe here? Berserker doesn't have me in check. So I suppose I could just go and take the Bishop. One Berserker left, how do I get rid of you? How about I just get the Assassin out of the way right now? Actually no, I changed up my mind, I'm gonna move it up. And I'll threaten the Berserker myself. Slowly, surely forcing him backwards. And this is a fork. He's gotta block it. And that's game. There we go. Another victory. Another piece I could get. I could get a second Reaper. So having a Reaper that starts on a light square and one that starts on a dark square sounds pretty good. So I'll try it. Just gotta spend a little gold, which is only found in the bottom right. And now it's time for the first boss fight. Up against Idea, the Witch Queen. Can move like a Rook, Bishop, or Knight, which would be brutal. Oh, Witch, meaning Idea. Oh, so the Reaper can't take here. Noted. Okay, that's scary then. How about I develop my Agent Plus here? Was that just the worst possible move? Yeah, that was pretty terrible. <laughs> okay, note to self, don't do that. Take that back. Yeah, I was in check and there was nowhere I could move, nothing that could take it. That's pretty bad. How about I advance the Royal Guard instead? Surely that something can be done with that. Well, Adia's marching in, but I'm not scared. Because I can fork you with the Royal Guard. And nab Adia this way, perfect. This is much preferable. I can go in with the Reapers, just get rid of almost all his pieces, and then pretty much end it. Just gotta get the right checkmate, so it may take a little bit. This should do it. It's a fork. And awesome. First boss down. Thankfully, the undo saves me. I just want to check. My army is full. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I go to training grounds. What I bet will happen is that instead of being offered a new unit, I will be able to upgrade a current one. What the hell? It's a knight queen. Can move like a queen once, and then afterwards can move it like a knight. That is scary. He's got a gun. Move any number of squares vertically or one square diagonally. After killing a unit, go back to his original position. Terrifying. What am I scared of more, the gun or the queen knight? I think the queen knight scares me, so I'll take him out. I suppose the royal guard can just pick off that through the portal. This musketeer definitely scares me, but I don't know what I can do about that. For now, I'll just develop my crusader with check and develop my Agent Plus with check. All right, how about I get my Reaper on a dark square? Ooh, I'm in check. Yeah, I figured he'd get a free piece. I didn't think there was much I could do about that. Well, I can run my King a little bit. Okay, I'm not in check, thankfully. But you got all his pieces on light squares. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Well, this time, if I get my Reaper on a light square, he can't hit me. Or at least I can make one trade. 
Now I can develop my Agent X, put him in check, good. Ooh, the Crusader guards this square, so if I run in here, it's a bishop check and a pin, which takes up Musketeer, excellent. Oh, I get 350 gold instead of a new unit. Well, that's still not bad. All right, well, I definitely want to upgrade my unit, so that's kind of the point. And I guess I can make my way to the shop with all this gold soon. It's got a catapult, which can shoot over units. Got a princess. After killing unit, it transforms into a queen. Also scary. I'll again start by wiping out the queen knight. And then wipe out the bowman, because it's almost the queen, but a little less good. Royal guard can hit that catapult. I have more pieces. I should just trade. What you do when you're up in chess. And now he's super neutered. I'll develop a check. Oh, and this is a skewer. Pick off the princess. There we go. Hey, I was trying to offer me a draw. I don't think so. Oh, so this can upgrade to the queen knight. That's how it works. Interesting. I'm not sure if a queen knight is actually better than a rook bishop. I'll upgrade it eventually, but for now I want the Pegasus Rider because I feel like the knight itself was not doing anything too productive. He's got a leper. If I kill it, whatever killed it transforms into a leper. And he's also got an immortal. Oh, the only thing I can kill it with is the king. Damn it. That means I gotta checkmate him somehow. I'll still throw the reaper and hit the royal guard. I mean, it's basically a queen. Although I should have done that in a different order, I think. Eh, what's done is done. This is a very funny check with the crusaders. Got a block with the immortal. And unfortunately, I'm just kind of stuck there. The princess is already pinned, so if I move back the Crusader, it's just a double attack on the princess. I think sending off my Crusader into the princess is the right play. Does block with the Immortal, but that's okay. I will push my Assassin forward once, and now get my Reaper on a Dark Square. Oh, this is fine. This is a free take for me, and now it becomes a Leopard, which might even be a good thing. What? How does this- Oh, it attacks me through this portal, this diagonal. Crafty. Okay, well, I'll push my King over. Oh, no way. I don't think there was anything I could do. That's a crazy play. This Agent L is a very scary piece, but I think I can continue to ignore it. Backed out from check. Or backed out from the pin. I still don't know what to do, so I'll push the Royal Guard forward. Here's the Queen. Not really hitting anything of importance. How about I put an attack on the Queen Knight? That is check, but I'm hardly threatened by it. Because if I move here, there's very few great moves. See a check here. Knowingly, I actually don't have a good spot to move to. If I move here, I'm in just as much danger as before with this check. I think I can move here without getting checked. Never mind. Here, I'll pull back the Royal Guard for defense. There, at least the Knight isn't hitting me this time. So, it's my turn to check. You blocked it? Well, thank you for the piece. Now, hopefully getting the King is as easy as I think. Might mean having to move my Assassin into this, though. Ooh, alright, really traveling with the Queen here. All right, I think I see a play with the Leper. Oh, that Immortal is so annoying. In the perfect spot to block me. Well, I gotta get my Royal Guard out of the way. He's smart enough to not take the Leper. I would love to move to the corner checking him, but then he just traps me with the Immortal. So frustrating. I can't even deal with this asshole. Okay, I might be able to outmaneuver it. I expected him to go there so I can run through the portal gate and now check the King, and the Immortal can't do anything about that. Hopefully it means I can push the leper a little further. You know what? That's fine. I have tempo here. Jam the leper here and say, take it, I dare you. You can't run that far. I'm gonna get him. Finally. I believe this traps the king. Oh boy. That was tight. All right, so now I get a relic. My units aren't affected by bomb explosions. Assassins and blade dancers can move. Oh, and a limited number of times return after killing other units. So there's a relic that makes it OP, but it's not OP to begin with. Or my king can't be hurt by Adia, Tabitha, and Andromeda. Oh, that's tough. The main reason I actually took the uh, assassin was solely so I could just play with the nerfed version of it. So I'm going to try Fire Gem instead. How about a defensive one? Defensive relic, it's new, and I mean basically having an OP assassin or blade dancer is... Uh, we've been there before. It's got infiltrators. Move like a king or an unlimited number of squares along the edge of the board... It can destroy rocks. Okay, how about I start by sending in a Reaper to take out the gun. Got a catapult hitting my king, so I'm willing to make this trade-off. And now he's not sitting so pretty. Now I can advance... Ooh, be careful. Yeah, I can advance the Royal Guard. He's got me semi-pinned. How about I take the Reaper, take out the Agent Plus. Does get a queen, but then I feel better about trading. Develop the Crusader with check here. Bishop guards this square, the one square that I want. How about I advance the assassin then? 
Ooh, okay, that's good for me. If I move my king over, I don't think there's a spot where he can put me in check. Never mind, there's there. Nasty. Okay, well, this time the assassin can block. All right, there we go. So I've got a cool Pe Pegasus Rider fork-ish. Actually just checks the king. I can't really kill this infiltrator. It's defended. Maybe I can find some other tricky fork with the Pegasus Rider. I feel like it's in here somewhere. Just can't quite find the move. How about I fall back and think about this a bit more? Ooh, I don't like that. Let's undo. I may have to sacrifice my Pegasus Rider to save my Crusader. And that's the play I'm going to make. I really do not like it, but it's the play I have. Agent X is back where it began. Okay, I can advance the king and not feel too nervous about... Why did you do that? All right. This feels like I have a good chance now. Eh, maybe not, actually. It might be a draw. Yeah, it's very possible the draw was forced. We'll see if he blunders. Because he doesn't have any, like, super strong movement. I could pin. I think it's a draw. At least I could get 30 gold with a draw. Yeah, because he gets one last turn and it's equal. Okay, so be it. I don't get any rewards, but it is what it is. I think I missed out on a relic. A shame. Hopefully I'm fine against Tabitha. Because she can move like any of my units except for the Portal Mage. And I have Reapers, so Reaper power is disgusting. I think I have to trade off my Reapers just so Tabitha stops having Reaper power. This should help me a lot. Okay, now, now Tabitha's movement is much less. I think I'm willing to even trade off my Agent Plus here. Does that neuter Tabitha more? Well, she can't get my king. The Royal Guard has a nice advantage on Tabitha. It can attack her without being attacked. And I can't attack Tabitha. Great, awesome. Tabitha has assassin powers, doesn't she? So if I block it, I just lose. Yeah, I'm gonna undo that move. Then I think this Royal Guard play is better. Because it's protected by the Pegasus Rider and it protects me more. My king is not under threat. Assassin powers? I don't know. If no assassin powers, then I have this move here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Tabitha does not gain assassin powers. The Night Queen is scary, but I get to kill Tabitha. Huge win. And now it's just all up to the Royal Guard. Ooh, I am in check. If I push my king over, there's no good moves from. That is a pretty good move, though. It attacks my Royal Guard, and it defends the exact square that I was hoping to go to. Well played. Well, how about this play, then? Where are you going to go? Right there? That doesn't threaten me. Hits my Pegasus Rider, sure, but besides that? Meh. I'll advance and hope I didn't leave myself too vulnerable. I get checked, but that's it. With this, there's not many good moves. That does nothing for him. This cleanly puts my opponent in check. I am tantalizingly close to getting there. I'll advance with check, but I don't think it's actually a good move. There's no strong follow-up for me. My Pegasus Knight is already protected. So how about I get my Assassin into the action? Oh no, not check. Uh, uh. Oh no, it's not that bad. Never mind. I'll scare the knight a little, give him one good move. Not attacking any of my pieces, lovely. Here comes the assassin, slowly advancing. Bring on the royal guard. Where do you go? Where do I go? Wait, no, I think this is fine. Continuing to escape. I don't know how he does it. This isn't a real fork, but it does attack the leper. It's gotta count for something. I like that the king's nearby the queen, and I like that he made that bad move with the leper. Because now I can get the... <laughs> Queen? The castle? Yeah, Feather Necklace lets you castle units. Anyway, I'm picking off this piece. And now it's just one le leper away from a win. How hard can it really be? I can't quite get the fork I want. That's fine. I've got an assassin too, and that can do its job. Right, how about this play? Yeah, depending on where the king goes, it, it was a bad move. That was fine. Just okay. Let's bait the leper into taking me. You fool. You absolute buffoon. Another victory. One boss to go. Really want to upgrade, so I guess I should go to the right. I get two upgrades here. So first the shop. Anything nice here? Oh, right. First the fight. Duh. Centaur. Move like a bishop or a knight. Oh, the fool is scary with my reapers. I don't think I can afford to be scared, though. Nice fool take. I can't have anything of my choosing. I think it's going to be a knight templar. I don't know how good a centaur is, though. Worries me. Crusader is an okay unit for the fool to copy. It's not that powerful. Asian X isn't really doing much. I do think I want the fool gone, though, so I'll try to take it here. Um, well, that's not as scary as it looks. Somehow, though, I can't hit that square, but nearly every square around it. I almost want to hit the bomb. Do I want to hit the bomb? If I take out the fool, I don't have to think about it anymore. Now I can detonate the bomb to get rid of that nearby unit. Sure, I'm in check, but I think the pain is mostly over. Hopefully. Well, still checking. This should have no good checks. Never mind, there's one right there. 
Oh, hand hits my Pegasus Rider? Okay, I'm undoing that one. Okay, let's try this move instead. Still check, but at least I'm not getting forked. This is a little terrifying, though. Their pieces are more coordinated than I thought. I can block with the Pegasus Rider. Saw that check coming. But now I can hit this Rook. Oh, I didn't expect that take. That is mostly good for me. This may be a draw. I'm trying to make it very tough for him. Like, if I can get a Crusader trade to happen, that'd be great. Like this. Or like a fork. Oh, yeah, sometimes they just do something stupid like that, too. Hooray! What do I even want? I can place a boulder on the battlefield. After my next move, the moving unit returns to its initial location. Or a rook in the bottle. Pretty good with the assassin I have. I'll take the rook in a bottle. Too bad I can only afford one. And now we'll take a relic fight and then some upgrades. Whoa, that's a lot of cool stuff. Portal mage can move to any unoccupied square. Can only kill on adjacent squares. War wagon moves like a rook or a king. Sorcerer moves two squares diagonally, then it may move one square orthogonally. Banner man moves like a king. Adjacent allies can move like queens. Assassin, blade, dancer, and martyr can't kill using this ability. Okay, banner man is terrifying. So I will simply take it out. I don't have any great moves, so I'll take out the War Wagon. Seems like a terrifying piece. The General Advanced. The Sorcerer is pretty terrifying, too. That's a really good defensive unit. It hits so many squares that I would love to have access to. I really want to take out the Queen Knight with my Reaper. I don't see a way out otherwise. Okay, I can develop a check. I'm not in any danger here. I don't know what I can do besides try to advance the Assassin slowly. Ew, Portal Mage. Hold on. This is almost a mistake. If the fool wasn't here, it'd be perfect. Because I was thinking of a coordinated attack involving the Crusader, Agent Plus, and Reaper. But I can't quite pull it off. Okay, here's the plan. I Reaper into the Agent Plus. Was not expecting that at all. Now I have to reconsider. I can save my Reaper and take out his fool all at once, which seems really nice for me. Yeah, that seems awesome. Well, it's exceptionally awesome that my Reaper's still alive. I'll move it here to try to force a Sorcerer Bomb. That's a fine trade by me. I wanted that gone. I can now push the Crusader with check. And maybe try to get my Agent Plus in the game. This is looking a little better. Do I go for a draw or a win? I want the win so I can actually get stuff. I guess I can use my Rook in a bottle to win. I think it might be the time. If I use it, then my Assassin can pick off the Portal Mage. And then this. And that's a win. I think it's worth spending the Rook in a bottle in order to get... A relic? Oh, this seems very nice. My Pegasus Riders can move and kill on adjacent squares. All right, that unit is OP now. All right, he's got a lot of scary units. Musketeer is the scariest because it kills and heads back. So I'll immediately get rid of it. No fools here. Ah, uh, but this is interesting. What do I want to take out with the Reaper? Maybe the Sorcerer? Maybe a Knight Templar? Maybe the Pegasus Rider? Because that's one of the only things that can counter my Pegasus Rider. I think I like this move and we'll see why. Because now this pin is safe. Okay, Sorcerer's attacking it. That was quick. It is an annoying unit, so I'll give it that. I think I'll make the trade. A Agent X is way better than Crusader. How about I set up a check, see what it does. And now I think it's time to develop the Pegasus Rider. Just to wear. I'll post it up here. But I reserve the right to change things. You want it to protect this Knight Templar. I think that's a good move. It does hurt, though. I mean, that Sorcerer unit is absolutely brutal. I could try advancing my Pegasus Rider, but I don't even know if it's a good play. Yeah, he puts me in check. That was what I was worried about. Not that bad. He trades with my Royal Guard. I think I'm happy. I'm not happy. I hope this move isn't a massive blunder. It isn't, right? Yeah, because I can just take the Sorcerer. See, this is a net positive. Where do I go now? He's not attacking me. I might as well play defense on my King. Um, Hold on. My Pegasus Rider can jump in the action. Surely there's something good that can come from this. Yeah, the Pegasus Rider defends this square. So what do you got? All right. Okay. Was word I wouldn't win that. Huge. What do I upgrade? I could have a Night Queen. That is very powerful. Or a Blade Dancer. Crap. I think I actually like the standard Blade Dancer. At least it can do a little bit of something now. It's a threat, but not like an instant game winner. What are these? Why are they shackled? Is a Gorgon. Move like a queen, but can't kill. Adjacent units are immobilized except Gorgons? Is that like a bad thing? Your freaking king is a immobile man. So isn't this just a free piece? Perhaps. That doesn't scare me. He's immobile. Okay, his fool can move now. 
It can't kill, though. So I could just take the fool. I mean, he has that move, but I knew that was coming. Adjacent units are immobilized. So that includes my units. Guess that means I should take them out. Yeah, I see where that's getting at now. Okay, clever. Well, how about I do this then? Throw in a little check. Think about it a bit more. Maybe try to get my Blade Dancer involved. Right here, I think. I sent our play. So now I think it's Crusader time. Get a little double attack, sort of. Oh, the Reaper actually can't hit anybody. That's nuts. I will take out his Centaur, though. That's a huge win for me. If I can, I'll get on a Dark Square. Oh, too bad that this becomes a Rook. Rook? If my unit is immobilized, I can't check him, right? Let's see what sort of immobilization you want to do right now. That's not a big deal. Can't kill. So congratulations, you can't kill now. Just get my Pegasus Rider to a safe spot and all should be good. Yeah, all right. Things are looking nice. Think about it. Get him in the corner. Hit him with an up close and personal check. And now does this work or does he... Okay. For some reason, I was figuring he could Gorgon to here for defense, but it doesn't work that way. Awesome. Another upgrade. I think I'll go for the Agent Star. Seems fun. Just in time for the boss fight. So it is Andromeda. Just has a very particular move pattern. Can move diagonally once and then cardinally unlimited times or vice versa. So I'm not sure how I want to start this. I think Bannerman's got to go. I don't want you moving like queens. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is a free Viking. My piece does become immobilized. I should think about that. I think it could still work though. Let's try it. The Gorgon has been moved. And Andromeda has been freed. Oh, great. Actually, I wonder if a different move was better here. It might be smarter to go in with the Reaper. Take out the Centaur, because nothing can actually directly hit that. Might as well get that. Have it be shackled for now. I think the play is develop the Crusader to pin the Viking to Andromeda, or stun Andromeda, both of which are good. Now, he's only got one unit defending this Viking. Nah, it's the Sorcerer. Uh, kind of makes it a little awkward. I was thinking it was just the king, but I realized the sorcerer is def definitely in this too. I don't think I care. I want that sorcerer gone. And time will tell whether that play has any merit. Ugh. It's actually not what I was expecting at all. Now, I don't think this is that clever of a play, but it does put a threat on Andromeda. The Gorgon at least made a bad play, keeping Andromeda trapped. Is it bad if I get my Pegasus Rider out? I get put in check, but that hardly matters. I don't see the uh, threat of that. His units don't blow up from bombs. That's the threat. That's pretty scary, actually. Okay, at least both of his stuff is stunned, so I'll get Pegasus Rider out here. Isn't this just really bad for me? Okay, what if I undo that, then? Let's go back a bit further, I think. Yeah, I think I've put myself in a really bad spot. The more I think about it, the more I hate the Gorgon. I think I'm just gonna spend all my undos in hopes that gets somewhere good. Or maybe here. At least with the Blade Dancer, I could spice it up a bit. Maybe one move back? Well, I still have the Royal Guard. Yeah, it's expensive, but I think it's better. Him not having any uh, bomb, bombs not being able to hurt him, that sucks. But I think I can at least get a little value with Blade Dancer. Fuck! Fuck these bombs! Okay, how about this play? Do I get Andromeda? Almost. Okay, at least nothing's getting hit by a bomb. Okay, the Gorgon's free. I repeat, the Gorgon's free. Andromeda can go wherever. I guess I can do a discovered check. I almost want to undo so I could set up that. I mean, I guess I could still do it, right? If I go here, how do you stop this check? Like that. Okay, I think I win. All right, glad I undo undid a ton. Well, now it's time for all three bosses. Don't have many undoes left, but at least I have a better chance. And my king can't be hurt by the three queens, so this is the time for it to matter. Hydra move movel like a griffin or a rook. This is a griffin? What the hell can hit my blade dancer? Oh, probably Tabitha. That would make sense. Okay, well, it definitely makes sense to get my Reapers down. So that way, Tabitha can't just snipe my Blade Dancer. Didn't even happen. What are you trying to do with that play? I can't hit any of your pieces. Damn. Well, I can develop with check, if you can call that development. I don't know what to do, so I'll get the Blade Dancer in here. Okay, there we go. Tabitha has way fewer moves now. But they do cover a lot of the board. You know, Pegasus Rider just jumping in right here seems really, really good. Hits multiple queens. Interesting. What are you even threatening with that? I guess you can hit my Blade Dancer. But I don't know if it gets to move again. I have three rewinds. If this actually checks, checkmates me, I'll know. Please don't kill me. Good. <laughs> they are guarding their entire side of the board. What the hell? And I can attack none of their pieces. Great. 
I will go to the one spot they can't attack with my Blade Dancer. Okay, this is a decent Blade Dancer move. Only Tabitha can hit this square, so I'll move it here. It's also protected. That's a fine trade for me. I lost my best unit, but so did they. Andromeda, though, is kind of hard carrying. I don't think I'm scared of Andromeda, because I have Fire Gem. I gotta be careful of my Crusader, though. It's under attack now, and it has one movable square up here. Not under threat. Oh, this is so close. The Royal Guard, I can somewhat do a fork. Somewhat. That really can just hit everything. Even protects the Crusader. I can't let this just take my Crusader for free. But it's in such a bad spot. Let me try this take. Expecting it to take back, yes. However, now I can hashtag free the Crusader and develop. And further make efforts to save the Crusader. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, because he's got double attack on this. Which means that I have to block the check. Still has the double attack. What happens if this fight draws? Oh, never mind. I feel like I'm losing here. Am I able to back up and save things? Like here? Maybe there's some check or some other play I can make that helps? God, that centaur move is just deadly. Maybe back up once more even? Because I guess my crusader isn't under attack. It's safe now. And I think that's the only thing I could do. I think I gotta start harassing. Put him in check here. Maybe that could help. Nope. That didn't help. Not even a little bit. Ah, uh, I guess it's not bad yet. I still have a place I can move it, which puts an attack here. Again, it's under attack, but I don't care. I guess it kind of is a fork. No, it definitely is a fork. Well, the only way to get out of the fork is to put him in check. But I can't do that. Because I turn into a knight. Yeah, I've got nothing. I think he just takes my piece of... I didn't even notice that was under threat. All right, it's over. Uh, I didn't I didn't have any good moves. Andromeda's just too strong. Like, I could advance the king. Oh, y'all know it's over. Yep, Crusader has no moves. GG. Because of the Crusader was taken, he gets an automatic win. That was tricky. There's just so much I still have to get used to. Trying to build around these new units is tough, but if you want to see more, I'll run it back and hopefully get a win next time. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.